on uh, just spent a lot of time talking about the play and, and his thoughts on it, about it not being targeting, but uh, no one was closer to it than you were. So can you just explain to me uh, what happened? And I know you were, you were with a blocker as well, and, and they came sort to you, but if you could explain kind of how it all played out and then your reaction when you heard about what the call was. Yeah, um, you know, I was just coming on a blitz, kind of ricocheting off the tackle and, um, you know, saw the quarterback. And it was kind of, you know, in passing, we were kind of sliding across each other, and I think our face mask kind of connected there. And, you know, probably didn't agree with the call, but there's not much I can do about that after the fact. Kind of just control what I can control and lower my target when I'm around the quarterback. I guess, did it make any more sense to you on a replay, I guess, in terms of how it looks versus how it felt uh, while you were actually making the play? Yeah, um, you know, I knew we connected helmets, like, on the field, and uh, I think somebody had mentioned on the sideline, you know, I think they're reviewing this for targeting right now, and, I, you know, I told them I think it might be because of me. So I kind of, you know, I knew on the field that it, you know, it happened, but I didn't think they would see it or call it because it was so fast, but... Um, you know, once they once they said they were reviewing it for targeting, I was pretty sure it'd be me. Forgive me, this is sort of a loaded question. We ask coaches about the targeting rule a lot. You're a player, obviously a player who's particularly affected by it, just by the nature of your position. I guess, what do you think as a player of, of the targeting rule? Do you think it can be amended? Do you think it can be changed? Do you think the the purpose of it, I guess, is is still kind of being fulfilled? Yeah, um, you know, I, I think there could be some changes to it. Um, you know, maybe if there was a, a, a two penalty rule or something and the second one was an ejection, but you know, those <clears throat> the rule is what the rule is now and you know they're they're not gonna change it mid game because because of uh you know something iffy like that. But um you know, maybe it will in the future because of the way the game's going, but um you know, I can't control that, so Western Kentucky throws the ball quite a bit. It's a challenge for, for any defense. What have you seen out of them and what are you expecting on Saturday? Uh, yeah, really good offense, uh, you know, big pass threat, and, uh, they're, you know, they're looking to take shots and, and uh, threaten you down the field. So um, we definitely got to be on point on the back end and communicate and all be on the same page so, uh, so that we can cover them over the top for sure. The ejection itself, I mean, did you have to go back to the locker room? Were you on the sideline or how tough was and how tough was that to kind of see the defense fall off without you being there? Yeah, um, you know, I think they changed the rule a few years back that you don't have to go to the, the locker room now. So um, I was kind of able to be out there with my team and, and, and watch the game and support them on the sideline, um, which I think was great. And, you know, I, I love those guys and I love the way they fought on Saturday. And, uh, you know, it was tough not being out there, but, but I trust each and every guy that plays on that defense and on that field. And, um, you know, I was happy that I could be out there and, and watch them play. Um, yeah, no, that, that call it is what it is, but um, it's, it's, it's tough to be in that position for sure. Mike, you've been in the meetings uh, and looked at the film. What were the struggles of the team after you went out? What, is, what do you have to change for this coming weekend? Yeah, um, you know, I, I think part of it was just a momentum swing. And, you know, that penalty kind of got their first down that they hadn't gotten in a while. And, um, you know, they kind of started hitting on some plays and, and getting in their groove. But, you know, I, I think defensively we played pretty well for that first half. And, and even into the second half we did some really good things. Um, you know, I, I think just some guys got to really lock in and, and focus on their, their job and, and just keep communicating. And, and we can't get down when something like that happens, when, you know. There's 11 guys on the field. One player doesn't make the team, and um, you know, guys got to step up and make their play when it comes to them. Mike, obviously, a one and two record's not what you guys envisioned at the beginning of the year. What's the mood of this football team right now under these circumstances? Yeah, no, um, like you said, definitely not where we expected to be. But um, we know that all of our goals for this season are still out in front of us, and. Um, you know, I think I think the guys are ready to attack. You know, get this win in Western Kentucky, and then continue on to Big Ten play. But um, you know, I think we're just focused on the next game. Uh, you know, just as it is every week, and I think that's all we can control. And you know, as tough as this start is, you know, how cool would it be for the Indiana Hoosiers to turn around their season and uh, you know come back even stronger because of it? Good morning, Micah. Um, eight different players caught a pass for Western Kentucky in their loss to Army. What goes into the film review for that and planning um, on covering such a wide range of players, kind of the scheming on defense? Yeah, no, uh, they got a lot of good players, a lot of guys, uh, real tough receivers on the outside, and 
um, you know, we're going to have to be able to cover all of them. And, you know, uh, I think our DBs are going to have to play great and, and play long. And, uh, you know, they're definitely going to try to threaten us down the field, like I said earlier. So um, we're going to have to have them over the top, and, and our safeties are going to have to be on point for sure. Thanks, guys.